three, two, one. I'm getting pretty red now. You'll have to excuse me while I get it on. Gosh, what I do for you girls. Ever wondered if there's a secret weapon to keeping your skin looking healthy, fresh, lime-free, plumped up with collagen and looking fabulous over 50? Well, today I'm going to share with you one such secret weapon that you can do at home. I'm Sally and this is Fabulous Over 50 and for 30 years I worked in the beauty and aesthetics industry as an expert aesthetician. I even owned my own school training other clinicians how to do the treatments that you go and pay for. This little treatment is something very special and in fact it is now backed by science. Yes, it's proven to work. So if you're ready to turn back the clock, grab a cuppa, settle in, I'm going to share with you absolutely everything that you need and what you need to know. Obviously there are do's and don'ts when it comes to any kind of treatment, but this particular treatment requires a little bit of attention. We're sorry, please tell us what it is. It's microneedling. Now, many of you know about microneedling, and I know there are lots of different people out there telling you to do this or to do that, and there is some good info, and there is also some pretty poor information. So it's important that I tell you exactly the facts so that you stay safe and that you get the best results. So what exactly is microneedling? Well, microneedling is a skincare treatment using tiny, teeny, tiny little needles. Now, fear not, don't run for the hills, you don't have to worry it isn't as invasive as it sounds when done correctly. Now these tiny little needles cause a micro injury to the skin and therein lies the absolute beauty of this treatment. When the skin has micro injuries, it goes into a healing mechanism and that healing mechanism builds collagen, tightens pores and helps with the removal of pigmentation. Now I know that a micro injury sounds pretty scary, but it isn't scary. In fact, it's pretty pain free if you're doing it properly. So what we're aiming for, of course, is to produce collagen. Collagen is the body's building protein and that's what helps our skin stay firm, tight and wrinkle free and of course plump and glowing. As we get older, we lose collagen at a rate of knots. Pretty much from the age of 20, we're losing collagen 1% year on year. Add menopause to the mix and our collagen dives off a cliff. And that's why beyond the age of 40, we really do see the signs of aging, such as sagging skin, lines and wrinkles, and open pores. It's a fact of nature. However, we can support our skin and we can hold back the hands of time if we perform this microneedling treatment. So that's why microneedling is a game changer as we get older and it's never too late to start. Yes, that's right, ladies. So you could be in your 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. If you started microneedling today, you are going to trigger a response in your body that produces collagen. So you might be wondering, what is the difference between microneedling at home and paying an aesthetician to do your microneedling in a clinic? Well, there are a couple of factors. In a clinic, procedures tend to be a little more invasive and they're probably going to use equipment that isn't accessible to you. However, when it comes to microneedling to produce collagen, the depths of microneedling are significantly shallower than you probably think. So the benefits of microneedling are reducing pigmentation, helping with collagen production, firming up and tightening the skin, reducing pore size, and giving your skin overall glow and tightness. It definitely helps the skin look more rejuvenated and youthful. It also helps the skin cells to turn over quicker. As we get older, our cell turnover becomes really sluggish. Everything slows down. So using microneedling as a little tool in your toolbox of anti-aging is going to to significantly improve the appearance of your skin. It's gonna make your skin look glowy, hydrated, and super youthful. And I didn't mention that when we micro needle, we're actually helping with the absorption of any products that we're using, any serums, any moisturizers, we're allowing those to penetrate deeper. So therefore, it's super important that you choose something that isn't going to irritate the skin, something that is clean, and something that is designed to actually encourage cell growth and collagen production. Because we are creating micro channels into the skin that then allows those products to feed deeper into our cells. So, all right, now that I've sold you the benefits of microneedling, let's do a deep dive in how we actually do it at home. And for this, I'm actually going to take all my makeup off and I'm going to demonstrate on my skin exactly what you should be doing to achieve incredible results at home. So the essential things that you're going to need in order to follow along with my tutorial are the following. You're going to need a derma roller. I have this one here. Now, if I hold my hand there, the camera may just pick up 
the tiny little wheel with real needles. Now you want to be careful, you don't want to get something that is flooded with little prongs and spokes, you want something that says real needles. Now this one has around about 175 and it is at a depth of 0.5 millimeters. Now you can go up to one millimeter and that is fine, but you would need to be very careful around the eye area. I would suggest you start at 0.5 or even less at 0.25. Now you can see probably the difference with these two. You can barely make out the needles of that one compared to that one. So we're going to go with this one, which is 0.5. This one, 0.25 would be perfect around the eyes. And I will demonstrate exactly how you do it. Now it's super important to mention that we are creating channels in our skin and therefore we have to make sure our derma roller is clean. Now I like to use isopropyl alcohol. This is a spray that I love. It is a pharma grade isopropyl alcohol that gets rid of bacteria and viruses. And I simply spritz my derma roller and let it air dry. Now you don't want to be micro needling isopropyl alcohol into your skin, so do make sure you just let it dry. It's absolutely fine. And I'll show you how I do it. It's quite simple. You get your spray and just simply a couple of sprays and that's it. And then I'll set that aside and then come back to it when I'm ready to do my micro needling session. Now you can micro needle without any serums whatsoever, but I recommend you use a hyaluronic acid. I love this one, it's by Minimalist, it's their hyaluronic acid serum. A couple of drops as I'm micro needling will help plump my skin and activate my cells as well. It's a fabulous product, I love the whole brand. Now once I've micro needled, I'm going to be bright red and my skin is going to feel hot. So I love to apply a face mask. This one here is one of my favorites. It's called the Incel Mask. It's actually designed for post micro needling or post derma roller. It's a fabulous soothing face mask packed with lovely hydrating ingredients and it will really calm your skin after your treatment. Now post treatment, I also like to use these. These are little cryo globes which really help to cool and calm the skin. You keep them in the freezer, get them out when you need to use them and they are sensational at cooling your skin and any point in the day actually, you don't have to do derma rolling or micro needling fabulous way just to calm the treatment down and to calm your face down and also to tighten and close pores. Now finally, post-treatment, do think about the fact that your skin is super sensitive. So I do not recommend you use your retinol or any vitamin C or any acids whatsoever just for a few days until your skin isn't showing the signs of redness. Your skin will feel irritated because we have just opened it up. Adding retinol or tretinoin or any acids is going to aggravate your skin and make it feel dry. Now, when it comes to making your skin feel dry, microneedling or derma roller can sometimes cause shedding. You can get peeling effect. And that's because what you've done is you've actually accelerated the turnover of your cells, which is a good thing. So any dryness will very quickly be eradicated, but I highly recommend you get yourself a ceramide moisturizer. This one here is my favorite again from a brand called Minimalist and I'm not sponsored by them. It's a fabulous one. Ceramides protect the lipid layer, the skin barrier, and will help with dehydration, flakiness, or dryness that you might get post-treatment. And that's everything that I use. It's super inexpensive, super simple. So let's get started. So make sure your hands are nice and clean, that you've washed them, sanitized them, you've cleansed your face, and you have spritzed your derma roller with an isopropyl alcohol spray, something that's going to kill any viruses or bacteria. When you're ready with that, then you can get your hyaluronic acid serum. And then what I like to do is just pop it on my skin with my hands, my hands are clean, and I'm just going to pop it on the areas that I'm going to do my treatment. So I always start at the bottom and work my way up. Some areas are going to be more sensitive than others, so start at the bottom, it will build your tolerance up and then you can move to those sensitive areas. So what we're going to do basically is do a cross and then a diagonal like a kiss. And that will ensure that you're not damaging your skin and you're going over your skin the appropriate times. So let's get started. So we pull the skin slightly taut and I'm going to first of all go across and then that way and then in a diagonal like so. And you can see it will start to pink up pretty quickly. And all you're going to do is just keep moving along your face as you go, making sure that you get all of your skin. It's 
It's important to remember you don't need to press too hard. Let the actual channels, let the needles do the work, let the barrel of the derma roller do its rolling. You don't need to press too hard. So you can see how pink that side of my face is compared to that side of my face. It's not dramatic, but of course I am causing slight little micro channels, which is what we want. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of my hyaluronic acid because the channels will stay open for around about three to five minutes, which is the ideal opportunity to add more of your serums, all of those things that help with your cell turnover and collagen production. Now moving up, around to my forehead, it will feel more sensitive. I will warn you of that. So just adding a couple little more drops of hyaluronic acid. And the reason it feels a bit more sensitive is because you haven't got fat pads, not really up there. So that can feel a little bit more, I don't know, uncomfortable, but nothing bad. Now, if you have very sparse eyebrows, you can take the derma roller across your eyebrows and it will stimulate hair growth. There we go. So remember, up, across, diagonal, diagonal. Covering the whole of your face, neck, or wherever else you're going. Cross my eyebrows. And now we're on to the other side. I'm going to pop on my serums. So you see, I'm getting pretty red now, which is very typical for me. Now I'm going to add a little bit, I'm going to do a bit around my nose, and then I'm going to show you how to do your eye area so that you're nice and safe. So I'm going to pop a little bit across my nose and my top lip. It's really good for smoker's lines, but yes, it can feel a little bit prickly. So for my nose, I'm just going to go across the bridge of my nose carefully, not applying any pressure and then through the center here as well. And now across the top lip, three, two, one. It's not so bad. You can even go over your lips and it will plump your lips if that's what you want to do. So that is my face micro needled. I'm going to add some more hyaluronic acid. Remember, this is the point where the channels are open and your skin care will be absorbed into your skin. Make sure whatever you're using is clean and is suitable for derma rolling. That's really important. Now to do round our eyes, we want to be really gentle. We want to just come over in one, two, three, four. That's it. And the same here. Just be gentle. Up and down. and that's enough. Remember the skin around your eyes is so much thinner than anywhere else on your face. Nice and red? I think so. We're ready now for the next step. Okay, my next step is my face mask. So I've opened it and now we're going to apply the mask. Now this particular mask is loaded with gorgeous peptides, fabulous ingredients, and it's got two layers to it. So it has this outer layer, and then the inner layer. So I'm gonna pop that on my face. You'll have to excuse me while I get it on. <laughs> Sweep it on, and then you just simply take away the top layer. Get it under my eyes, I've got it caught there. Pop your mask on, and then what I like to do, gosh, what I do for you girls, is get the cryo globes and just massage. Oh, it feels so gorgeous. 
all those good nutrients from this face mask into my skin. And that is it, girls. <laughs> Once your mask has had the appropriate time, take it off and you can just massage all of those ingredients into your skin and then you are done. So once you've completed your micro needling treatment, you can expect to be red, just like me. I go very red, that's a natural part of my skin. But redness isn't an issue, it goes away after a couple of hours and certainly by the next day, you are going to look radiant and glowing. Now remember, redness signifies that you've increased blood flow. That's exactly what we want. We want blood to reach the cells where everything's a bit sluggish. We're feeding our cells with nutrients from our blood cells and we're activating collagen. Now remember, it's nice to actually cool the face with a lovely cooling, soothing face mask and those cryoglobes like I have just shown you. They're they're my favorite. If you have a red light therapy mask, that's fine. You can use that too. This is just all about microneedling. Remember to protect your skin, however. So I would do microneedling on a day where you didn't have to do a meet and greet, where you didn't really need to go out. Because obviously when your skin has had the microneedling treatment and it's bright red, you don't really want to be going into fierce sunlight and you want to protect your skin. Now, how soon will you see results? Well, I'm going to tell you, you're going to see results the very next day and they're going to continue to look better week on week. Now, your skin cells are on a cycle of 28 days and that pretty much marries up with your collagen. As soon as you activate collagen, it doesn't suddenly stop, it keeps being produced. And that's why I suggest you do microneedling every month. Now I have seen women completely transform their skin, not just on the face as well, the neck, the decolletage, backs of the hands, buttocks, thighs, knees, elbows. That's a whole new video and I promise I will bring you microneedling for the body very soon. But today I do hope that in some way I have inspired you to try microneedling. It's definitely worth doing. It really works. The science is backed. It's going to help plump out your lines and wrinkles. It's going to help activate collagen and it's going to give you that youthful radiant glow that you used to have in your 20s. And what can be better than feeling and looking fabulous over 50. Now there you have it ladies, please let me know in the comments below if you have tried microneedling either in clinic or at home or if I've inspired you to have a go today. Everything that I talk about has been linked in the description box below and I've also pinned it in a comment so that you can order everything and follow along with my tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed my video and if you did perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with your girlfriends and if you haven't done so already remember to subscribe, it's free. And I bring videos just like this every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.